Hi, friends. I wanted to read some nursery rhymes to you. These are little poems, more little poems than stories, but some are a little more like stories that I learned when I was your age. And they were things I would read over and over again. And some of them I even still have memorized. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to get to share some with you. So let me share it here on my computer screen. I'm gonna work out of this book today. So it says nursery rhymes. <clears throat> and this was published by Twin Sisters. And a lot of these stories or rhymes have been passed down from generation to generation. So there are some of those that we may not know exactly who first came up with them. This one is the one I was thinking of yesterday. It was one of my favorites. I don't even know why it's one of my favorites, but I enjoyed sort of chanting along to this one. It's called Hickory Dickory Dock. I just like to say that. You wanna say that with me? Hickory Dickory Dock. You're gonna hear it a lot in this one. Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory Dickory Dock. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck two and down he flew. Hickory dickory dock. So you look and see where that little hand is pointing and you'll know what the next one's gonna be. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck three, the mouse said, watch me. Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck four. The mouse said once more. Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck five. The mouse survived. Hickory dickory dock. I think I just like the repetition in that one. If you want to go back and listen to that one again, I bet you could memorize it pretty quickly. Now, some of our nursery rhymes have been turned into songs as well. As I read this one, think about it and tell me if you know a song, and then we'll do the song afterward. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Twinkle, Twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Do some of you know that song? I sang this song to my kids so much when they were little. I remember when my twins were born and my older son would sing it to them. Let's do this one together. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Oh, that's a good one. This one always made me laugh. Look at the pictures here, because they're pretty funny. So you've got a cat with a fiddle. This is a dog. Um, here you have a dish and a spoon with arms and legs and a cow and he's jumping over the moon. Here we go. Hey diddle diddle, hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport 
and the dish ran away with the spoon. I have no idea what that means. It is very silly, but that is one that I could tell you with my eyes closed. Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such a sight and the dish ran away with the spoon. Okay, so here is a sport. I did originally learn it as sight. Okay, let's go to the next one. Little boy blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow and the cow's in the corn. Uh oh, I don't think that cow is supposed to be in the corn. Where is the little boy who looks after the sheep? He's under the haystack, fast asleep. Oh, I had a Humpty Dumpty doll when I was little. Somebody had sewn it for me. So I loved this one. Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. And that's all I learned when I was little. But look at this, there's more. So some children came along singing Humpty's little song. So they decided to think of a plan to put Humpty together again. Working with some glue and tape, they gave Humpty a new shape. Now Humpty Dumpty sits on a wall. Never again will Humpty Dumpty fall. Now when Humpty's story is told, a happy ending will unfold. Working together to help Humpty mend. Working together, they helped a friend. That's a much better ending than the way I first learned it. I like that one. This is another one that's got a song that goes with it. It goes, London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Okay, we're gonna stop at this one. It's called, This Little Pig Went to Market. Now, some of you, might know something that goes with this. So when with my children and when I was little, we did this one on our toes. So here comes Mrs. Barrett's foot. Oh, oh, you ready? I gotta make sure you can see my toes because it's important. Okay, this little pig went to market. This little pig stayed home. This little pig had roast beef, and this little pig had none. And this little pig, this little pig cried wee 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 all the way home. Did you guys ever do that when you were little? And then your whoever was doing it would tickle you with a little one. Let's do it one more time. If you've got your shoe off, you can do it with me. If you don't, you can use your hand, right? This little pig went to market. This little pig can stay home. Are you ready? Here we go. This little pig went to market. This little pig stayed home. This little pig had roast beef. And this little pig had none. And this little pig cried, wee, 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 all the way home. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed doing our nursery rhymes today. Those are sometimes fun to go back and listen to another time or read another time. Remember, you can always mute me and read these to yourself if you'd like to. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.